The soil is more than just a place to plant seeds. It's also where the plants get all the essential nutrients they need to thrive, and in return, provides the nutrients that people and animals rely on to grow healthy and strong. People get our nutrients from the plants that grow and the animals that we eat that eat the plants. The three major nutrients in the soil are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Other important nutrients are calcium, magnesium, and sulfur, and micronutrients like zinc, manganese, copper, and iron. These nutrients are taken up by plants when plants absorb water. So when we think about nutrients that are used on, on the farm, there are 17 nutrients that we find naturally. And those come from different sources. So nitrogen comes from the air that, that we breathe in, and we convert that into nitrogen that goes into your soil on your farm. The phosphorus uh, actually comes from a naturally occurring mineral, a phosph rock that we combine with other chemicals to make your, your typical fertilizer products used on a farm. Potassium is much different. It's almost like table salt that comes from deep underground, uh, deep in the earth, and it's a natural mineral that we separate impurities from, and that's what how the K makes it to your farm for your crop nutrient needs. Mother Nature's done a great job of providing a lot of the nutrients we need for our crops. We just supplement it with things like the fertilizer behind you. So, you know, we will uh, take that reading of the soil, we'll work on a prescription, but we're always cognizant of the fact that Mother Nature, with the soil itself, with the organic matter, some of our legumes will bring in nitrogen as well. We want to work that into a complete system. So we're maximizing the use of the things that Mother Nature provides for free, and then we just supplement it with the fertilizer that we sell. So I really enjoy the fact that we've got opportunities to help our growers to continue to move their operation forward. We're really in this with them. I mean, a grower who's owned the ground or in their family for 100 years, they want to make sure that ground stays productive and make sure that environment stays healthy. The water's pristine, the livestock and the wildlife in that area are both benefiting from that, that great soil health, plant health. There's just so much uh, opportunity to kind of work together with Mother Nature and make our, our whole farming operation as sustainable as we can for both their generation and generations to come ahead. When soils are used to grow foods, the soils need to be kept healthy, as a lot of nutrients are taken up by plants and not replaced. Nutrients need to be added to replace what is taken out. The best way to do this is to first test the soil. So the process that we use to take a soil sample is, is once we identify the area of the field that we want to sample, we'll use a soil probe and take a three quarter by eight inch core of the soil and usually take eight to 10 of them cores to represent that area and bag that up and actually send that to the lab for analysis. So when we get the analysis back from the lab, We'll go ahead and meet with the grower and we'll actually go over the sample. And what it'll do is it'll show us the variability or what is out there in the soil available for the plant. And it gives us an opportunity to make a prescription or anything that might be able to supplement what Mother Nature is already providing for us. So fertility is the base of everything. That's where you start. That's the starting block for a good growing season. So we take our grid samples and analyze what we need to put in the ground for our plants to have a good growing season for the next year. Nutrients in the wrong place can be harmful to the environment, but a lack of nutrients could cause the plant to be unproductive. That's why it's so important to manage our nutrients. Nutrient stewardship is extremely important. Like with any tool or technology, we must take care of our environment. We must think about the nutrients that we use on our farm. We also have to think about that whenever we apply fertilizer to our lawn in our home. We often talk about the 17 essential nutrients and how each one of those is either mobile or immobile in the soil. So when we think about rainfall and a nutrient's ability to move through the soil profile or into a waterway, it's important to understand the mechanics or the likeliness of those different nutrients to get into a waterway or an area where we may not want them. Each grower is different with the way they approach nutrient stewardship, but they all have the same goals to increase production and profitability while protecting the environment and improving sustainability so that the land may provide for generations to come. To achieve those goals, it's important to understand the four R's of nutrient stewardship. The right fertilizer source at the right rate, at the right time, and in the right place. 
it's a great conversation and it's a joint conversation. So, you know, when we sit down with a grower, we don't just lay the map out in front of them or the soil test out in front of them and say, here's what you need. We have a conversation with them. We say, you know, what's your system? What kind of starter fertilizer are you doing? What what have your crop yields been like in the past? Can we see those different yield maps? We understand the variability in yield across your field. It's a conversation. Do you own the ground or do you rent the ground? And then from there, we have a discussion about the soil fertility and what their goals should be based off their yield goals. For any, any farmer, a good goal is to be able to be efficient with your fertility program and put back what you're taking out because obviously a, a good crop is going to take out nutrients and you need to put that back to have another good crop to fall the next year. One of the things I really like about my job is, is that I get an opportunity to sit down with a grower or one of our sellers and their grower and identify an area of the field that's been giving them problems over the year and they just can't seem to get it right. And then we actually take all the information that we have and we can actually formulate a plan and then actually see that plan come back in and put a reward to the farmer. When it comes to agronomy, it starts with the soil. Thanks for learning with Growing Agriculture Together. Find more resources at growingagriculturetogether.com.